YouTube. What is up, guys? Bloopasaurus here. Um, wow, man. What an awesome response to that last video haul that I had. Holy smokes. Pretty crazy to me. Over 200 views. Wow. Pretty wild. Um, the books garnered it, not me. Uh, guys, I was watching a lot of my old videos. Damn, I was wrong a lot about a lot of shit, man. I feel like a mo. It's not really like what I do. I, I'm I'm pretty knowledgeable. I think I am. I, I just I I don't know what I do on these videos. <laughs> I say the wrong things and I get into the wrong stuff. But I'm just really glad you guys are here watching this, man. This is awesome for me. Um, I hope it's as good for you guys. These books I showed in my last haul. Really proud to have these books in my collection. Um, so guys, any mistakes that I make, I, I apologize. Um, and I'm just going to move forward and, and get into uh, a little bit more of the DC aspect of everything because it's kind of the way I'm going in my collecting. Um, I have a tremendous amount of, uh, Marvel key issue books. Um, I'm talking like the silver age stuff, uh, a lot of bronze age stuff. I'm missing a few keys here and there. But the DC stuff is starting to really intrigue me. The storytelling uh, is great. I didn't expect that. I mean, all the old Green Lantern stuff and the old Batman stuff is really, really fun to read. Um, so I'm actually getting into starting to collect some DC stuff. And I never thought I'd say that. So I'm glad that uh, my I'm starting to transition a little bit in, in my habits of collecting and just looking for Marvel stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, um, And I also uh, credit... A lot of you guys that I watch, um, you know, I have a lot of new subscribers since the last time that I made a video and uh, which is really wild and really awesome. I thank you everybody that has subscribed to me. Um, you know, I'm hearing my name being called out on, on shout out videos and it's just, it's really humbling and I, I really appreciate it. So guys, I'm going to get into some of the Batman books that I had picked up um, and then I'd show just very briefly in a previous video, maybe two videos back or a video back. Uh, yeah, I think it was a video back. Um, and I'm going to get into these Batman books. I'm going to get into some stuff that I picked up at the flea markets. I'm going to kind of cruise right through this. Um, and then I have some two major keys at the very end of this video that I've been holding on to to show you guys. I didn't want to blow my load as they say in the biz <laughs> all over my face neck and chest um on showing this book and this book and this book and then throw those other two in and i just i wouldn't have had i mean i like to show keys man that's why i watch videos it gets me excited it makes me want to get out and and really hunt down some awesome books for great prices too you know i see these guys they're charging thousands of dollars for these books guys hold your horses man there is somebody somewhere getting rid of these books for nothing Hold your horses. They will come across you. I mean, you might have to pay 100 200 but you don't have to pay thousands of dollars for these books. Um, and a lot of people don't have that type of money to spend $100 on a book. Be patient, man. Be frugal. That's my number one thing. I haggle the hell out of these people that are selling these books, man. I haggle with them. Um, I, I, I break them down. I break the books down. You know, Get yourself a good price. You don't have to just look at everything. It's only worth what the person's willing to pay for it. And I truly believe that. So guys, I'm going to get right into this. Um, there's some Jim Aparo stuff in these in these books, and uh, it, there's a pretty good run that I have. So this is Batman uh, 295, and if you notice, Batman in these covers, uh, I forget the name of the um, the artist. Damn, I, I I forget the name of the artist, uh, but he's kind of making the same grimace, and every pose and it's it's pretty funny when you look at them batman 301 this one's a little cracked up so this is a uh, batman 303 guys and batman 305 i know the glare is terrible sorry um batman 306, I'm trying to get this glare off of here for you. Batman 309. Same artist. Irv, Irv Novellic, or I forget what his name is, man. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, Joe Kubert cover. 
the gentleman ghost and then this is um, Batman 311 I love that cover the greens the blues just awesome Batman 312 Here he is with that, that grimace again. Batman 318. Introducing the firebug. The man who was burning Gotham City down. Another Garcia Lopez. Second copy of that book. Another Cubert uh, and Giordano book. Let's see that right here. Batman 319. Batman 322, Batman 325, I hate when they use brown in a comic on a cover, drives me crazy, I think it looks like shit, personally, no pun intended, Batman 326, Batman 328, two copies of that book, and this is Batman 334. Batman 329, Jim Aparo, baby. Look at that. Now that is some sweet artwork. Showing action in the hands. Movement. You can really feel the, the weight on Batman in that. It looks awesome. Here's another Jim Aparo cover. Batman 331. Second copy. Guys, this haul is going to be a little longer than a typical haul that I do just because of the amount of books that I have to go through. Batman 332. Another copy of that book. Batman 333, Jim Aparo cover, in the snow. Love those snow books, the snow covers. Batman 336, second copy of that book. There it is again, another snow cover. Snowy covers, just look awesome. Jim Aparo cover, beautiful artwork. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I think when I when I broke this down, I think I paid 24 cents a book for every book that was in the haul that I got. 338 and a um my local comic book store, the comic book store I've been going to for 30 years closed down. They closed the doors um last Sunday and they moved from a 900 square foot shop to a 3,000 square foot shop. I mean, like, I am in heaven, man. It's like Disneyland moved to my town. I'm just, f I'm flipping out. I stopped there today after work. I picked up a couple books. It's got over like a thousand, uh, I think it's like 1,200 uh, long boxes that he has there. So insane, the amount of books I can get to look through. Um, and I'll be doing that this week. 339, Jim Aparo, Jim Aparo, 341. 342 Gene Colon and, uh, and Dick Giordano cover. I love this cover. Uh, maybe 10 books left. This is Batman 345, Batman 346. I love the elevation of this book. It looks beautiful, man. And look at the cover, man. How times repeat themselves. Batman 350, Batman 352, 354, Bat and the Cat, 355, 356, 363, and then I love these covers coming up, 364, 365, 
367. I love this cover. Awesome stuff. And the last Batman um, book is Batman 370. So yeah, guys, that was my Batman haul. Um, I don't even know. I don't even... <laughs> Now I'm just picking up Batman stuff all over the place. And I am a huge Batman fan. I mean, it's not like I don't like Batman. He was probably the only DC book that I ever really read in Batman. And then, guys, I picked this up in my travels. I saw this on Tom Ryan's video. I believe it was Tom Ryan. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Batman Odyssey, Neil Adams stuff. Um, I picked these up for less than a dollar a book. One, two, three... Four awesome, awesome Neil Adams right there, man. Five, six with the Joker. I think that's the end of it, right? Yeah, that's the end of it. Six. Six books in that series. I picked them all up. Well, I don't know if it's in that series, but they're the six that I picked up. I didn't get to read them yet. I didn't get to do any research. I just picked these up a day ago. Um, and... I picked these up from my local comic book store um, last week, and I got four copies of this book. Really happy to get this. You know, he just gave them to me after I picked up um, what I'm going to show you guys now. So here's a key. Green Lantern, drug issue, number 85, Neil Adams. Beautiful, beautiful art. I mean, what a, what a subject matter. Bring it to the forefront. Him and Stan, I guess the uh, Stan Lee, and they were racing to, to do the whole drug thing with their 90, 97, 98, 99 issue in Marvel of Amazing Spider-Man. And then you had this, um, DC did. So really, really happy to have this book in my collection. And then, boom. Mm. Green Lantern, Green Arrow, 76. They say the beginning of the Bronze Age. Whoa. So these two books are the key books that I picked up um, last week. When I picked up that Justice League book from a completely different store, too. Maybe give you a better idea what they look like. And then, guys, I picked this up today. Um, I stopped into that comic book store, my LCS, and I just opened up one box of the 1,200 or whatever, however many. I think he has 1,200 long boxes. I think he actually has more than that. Um, but I opened up one box. It just said Valiant on it. And I was just watching Mercenot's video and what did i find but a shadow man number zero from valiant signed by bob hall and tom Ryder. awesome gold variant it's not the it's not the uh there's only five thousand of these i don't know how many of them are signed but not five thousand not by the penciler and the writer um, Bob Hall, I believe, is the penciler. Tom Ryder may not be the writer. I could be wrong on that. And then, guys, I picked up, um, <laughs> this at a comic book at a flea market. Itchy and scratchy. Now, you're looking at this going, why the hell would you pick that up? It's beat up. It's all crunched up. Guys, I took a second look. I passed it. The sun hit it right. And it's signed by Matt Groening with a sketch of Bart Simpson on it. And that's real. Like, that's not... Somebody didn't write that on there. I mean, somebody absolutely wrote it on there. But I believe it was Matt Groening. I mean, there's no COA with it. But I'm going to take it. I don't have anything with Matt Groening. And to have a Bart Simpson that maybe he had drawn by hand? I took it. I paid the guy $3 for this book. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I paid him $5 for this book. He wanted 10 I gave him 5 bucks. So guys, this is my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did making it. 
Um, I have a ton of books to show, man. I mean, a ton. I don't, I don't have enough time to go through them all and really pull them all out. But I want to thank every single person that commented, liked, subscribed. Um, my next video, I'm going to point you out name by name and thank you individually. Um, I really do thank you guys a lot. You know, this is an awesome hobby. I enjoy it tremendously. It's a daily thing for me, uh, besides my full-time job. Um, so, guys, thanks again. And uh, as Captain Cola would say, find the good stuff.